What is going on guys, DBG here and in this video we are going to be doing another one of our squad builder videos. And the reason for doing this today is because there was no content. I think everyone kind of expected buzzer beater cards to come out today, but um, obviously they didn't. But we know we are getting some form of spotlights in moments cards tomorrow. So lads, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, we're trying to 200,000 subscribers as soon as possible. And right now we are less, like we are 7 eighths of the way there. We are less than 25,000 away, which is nuts. But um, yeah, also if you could leave a like, it'd be greatly appreciated. But anyway, that's been a long like 30 seconds plus. So now let's get on to it. So this is going to be the fastest team in the game. This is not going to be the fastest team at any posi every position because I'm going to do that later on in the year. So look at the fastest point guards, fastest two guards, fastest small forwards. This is just straight up the fastest players. And my there are two players that I'm going to use in this video, but they're kind of cheating. So when I do the video later or next year, or say not later, next year, when I do the video later on, inevitably I will do it next year because let's be real, I've done this the last three years. But I will, um, without question, take away these two cards because it's kind of cheating using out of position cards in a squad like this. So anyway, now let's get on to the squad. So the point guard position, there's a lot of people with 99 speed and 99 acceleration. There is Derek Rose who I'm going to use, and I'm actually going to use a two guard as my other point guard, and it's going to be Alan Iverson. Both of these guys super, super quick. Obviously, known as being two of the fastest players in history. 99, 99, 99 for Derrick Rose. For Allen Iverson, it's 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 99 ball control, as well, or speed with ball as well. And I'm only going to take into account speed and acceleration, lads, so speed with ball is not going to be taken into account. And also, for the two-guard position, well, mainly a small four position, it is only going to be players you can buy in the auction house because there is one guy that would have made this list if you could buy him in the auction house. So, uh, two guards... We are going to go with point guards again. I'm going to put in John Wall and the Aaron Fox Pink Diamond. So the reason why I've got these guys in is because they've got 99 speed and 99 acceleration as well. Like speed of ball, obviously, it's 99. That would be kind of a deciding factor if two people are tied, but they're both 99 in both, so it doesn't really matter. And then small forward position. Kobe Bryant with 99, 99 will be in here, but you obviously you can't buy him. So starting is Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Their 110% is going to be a better Michael Jordan card coming out, lads. I'm just saying that right now. Which will have 99 speed, but he's at 98, 98. And then our next player is Clyde Drexler. So Clyde Drexler has got 97, 97. Again, there may be Evo cards that are faster than these, but as far as I know from the research that I did, these are the fastest. Then the power forward position, we've actually got two point guards. So we got Yanis and Ben Simmons. I think both of them have the exact same speed. But there are a few others, like you could use Mello and stuff. Um, there's a few, I think there's Mello, there's one or two others, but I think these two guys are the fastest in terms of, well, they're the best that are the same, or that are that speed. So 97 for Simmons, and for Giannis, he has got 97, 97 as well. So now we're on to the center position, and this is one that's kind of cheating. So we are going to be using a amethyst center spud web and a diamond center in centers russell westbrook so who is a taller team yeah switch here we're gonna have to manipulate matchups because no way can westbrook guard a center whatever but westbrook guarding center no way can spud web guard a center and spud web has got 99 speed as well russell westbrook has got 99 speed and acceleration as well so we have got six Player, six of our 10 players have got 99 speed, three of them have got 97, and one of them has got 98. So we're probably, we probably have an average of like 98 point something. It probably doesn't quite round up to 99, but again, of fairly uh, close to being an average of 99 speed. And I'm telling you, if at any stage they get 99 speed power forwards or, or sorry, with the coach, do I have a speed coach? I'm just coming to look to see if there's a speed coach, actually. Because if there's a speed coach, is Nick Nurse a speed coach? No. Pace and Space, is he a speed coach? He's speed plus one. He gives them all plus one speed, I guess. Do I have any higher overall coaches to give more than plus one? No, so Alvin Gentry. Alvin Gentry gives this team a speed, gives, makes this team an average of 99 speed. I'll take it. The team now is an average of 99 speed with Alvin Gentry. So, 
Let's chuck in three bronzes. I could just cheat and use a center, but you know what? I'll probably do that the next time I make this video. But anyway, well, a similar video where I do it at each position so that you won't see four point guards pretty much, or three point guards on the floor. No small forwards. Actually, sorry, there is one, two, three, four. There's five primary point guards on the floor. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Now let's get on to the game. Okay, so we're playing against Split. His, he's actually running Split Web at the point, and he's got the tallest entry in the game. Great. Not a good team we're coming up against there, so we should have the advantage here. Just do not click on your point guard. Do not click on your point guard. Okay, he pressed start. Lovely. Okay, it's a pretty much guaranteed we lose this. You know what? I'm going to stick matchups as we are for now. I just want to see. I just want to see what difference it makes. Because I don't think this is... I'm not that worried about this team, to be honest. So, I think I should be okay. And Westbrook comes up with the board. Like, I'm not even going to go into the 5 out. I'm just going to go and 20 with the lamb and see how we get on. Is he zoning, really? Really? He's zoning me? Okay, now I'm going to press you. And I'm playing Rover with Westbrook. Shoot that. I dare you. He's got no quick draw. I dare you to shoot the ball with Anthony Davis. Come on. Batum's, gr Batum's great and all, but like not for that. He can shoot. Yeah, he's definitely not someone we want to uh, be leaving open. Bye bye. Green light on the move there by John Wall. Let's go. He sits. He stays in his zone. We're going to be good. I'm fine with matching up to Anthony Davis. That Anthony Davis is terrible. And they get an easy board there with Nick Batum. Okay, so everyone just spread. Don't lag out. Hit a wide open corner shooter. Green. There we go. John Wall's not the greatest shooter in the world, but if you leave him that wide open, like you can kind of leave him a little, give him a little bit of space, but like not wide open. Like this is uh, this is NBA 2K20. Every single player in this game can hit wide open at this stage. Like, is there any player that anyone would even consider using that can't hit wide open? Like even like Rodman can hit wide open. One of the worst releases in the game. Like literally everyone can hit open. Oh, we just rim run. He just rim ran so easily right there. Oh my god, lads. If we had if we had a center, this would be so much easier. I wouldn't even mean a center. If we had a like someone that's even moderate height at center, this would be so much easier. Because this is gonna be grim once they put uh, Spud Webb on the floor. He's actually switching zones quite well, but he has just left John Wall too deep. Yeah. Oh, if Wall had... I'm using Wall as my primary ball handler. He's the only one without Hall of Fame range on the floor. Actually, Jordan doesn't either. He's going to make a pass. He's not going to take me one-on-one. -on -one. I can time this. I'm going to time this. I'm going to time this and beat him. No, that's actually a nice move. I know for a fact he didn't mean to trigger it, but it was a nice move. Corner. One more. A wide open Derrick Rose. Green. There we go. I noticed some people that hate Derrick Rose release. I'm a big fan. And I've been a fan of it since that uh, the pink diamond card. Like I don't quite think that the pink diamond is to be uh, like this unbelievable card, but I think his release is actually really nice. Like in my opinion, Westbrook's the best of those like undersized dunking point guards, as in like Steve Francis, um, Marbury, all those type of players. Um, Westbrook, Wall, De'Aaron Fox, Dennis Smith Jr., Jamarant. There's too many to even name, but I think Westbrook's the best of them all. So you know Westbrook, Rose is the best in them all. I don't know what I'm saying. Rose is better than Westbrook. To be fair though, you could, if this center Westbrook was a point guard, you could, well, it would be 100% it would be an opal, but you could argue that that's probably the best of these type of cards. Bye bye. Green, good shot, Jordan. Let's go. Now we are starting to get a little bit of control. Like this squad 100% would not be capable of um, beating a very good squad in this game. Not gonna lie. Like, this dude, he's not a bad player, but his squad is weak. Corner, green that. Good, Derek Rose. Sweet, just like that, we've managed to pull this out a lot. Just out of nowhere, pretty much. Bye, bye. Green by Ben Simmons. Just like that, just like that, this is now a 12-point game, and the bench is coming in. He's literally playing a zone, which is very, very annoying, because I can't actually... Like use the speed advantage that I have. I've got to just shoot the ball. 
is a little bit annoying. But sure, look, it is what it is. We just gotta pass around and take shots. Unfortunately, I would much rather be out there uh, trying to use my speed. However, yeah, there's not much I can really do in terms of rim running when he's got a seven foot seven Mirasan sitting in the paint and he's playing the game like it's day one. And we all know what does and doesn't work in this game. And for a large, a large um, percentage of this game, um, the zone was fine. Now, that's not a good release, is it? Now the zone is terrible. Like, there's a reason why you'll never see anyone playing zone in any sort of a competitive setting. Like, well, well, exclusively playing zone. Like, maybe, you see the odd time people switch into zone to, um, like, just to throw off the offense, just to show a different look, but, like, no one sits in a 3-2 zone from start to finish like this dude's doing right here. Like, I will drop 130 points against this guy if he keeps doing it. And that's a rage quit. Good, good win right there. So now we're going to go and play a game of TTO using the three fastest cards. Well, using three cards with 99 speed and acceleration. Okay, so we're going to use Westbrook, Iverson, and Derrick Rose for this game. So we've got three dudes that can, that can lock people up, that can go by people, that can shoot the ball. So we should be good. Okay, so we're playing against Rodman, Nash, and Lonzo. We managed to burn Rodman. Run outside the three-point line, Rose. That's off. We got blessed. Okay, so what I always do in these scenarios is just try to get bumpy. When we have the height disadvantage, we get bumpy and force them into making passes. That's a good pass. It's a good shot. Not much we can do there. We just got to force them to get bumpy. And maybe just throw a couple of passes into my hands because he really can't just give the ball to Robman. Actually, can he really? Can he give the ball to Robman? I don't think he can. Because Westbrook can clamp Robin in the post. Robin doesn't have much of a post game. Good defense, Rose. Let's go. Absolute BS animation, but you know what? This is 2K20. This game is just entirely based on BS animations. And just like that, we get a BS animation because we won our rebound. Players lit Like, it's so annoying. Players just won't catch the ball. I'd say one out of every five rebounds, your player will just drop the ball out of bounds. We're there. Shoot that. Dive. Good defense, Westbrook. Better finish. Got him. Oh, we sold. But it's green. Oh, but it's good. Let's go. All right. Down by... Or up by one right here. Just get bumpy. Get bumpy. Once he gets a step on us, it's, it's over. Good, Iverson. Unlucky. Uh, we've been just unlucky in a few situations in this game. That's bad by me. We got unlucky again there. If Iverson had a bigger wingspan... but Well, I don't know why I'm saying if Iverson had a bigger wingspan. Like, if Iverson was bigger in real life, we could be looking at the greatest player to ever pick up a basketball. So... All hypotheticals. Keep the Iverson. Down out to Rose. Wide open. Sold. Oh, it's my fault completely. I missed timing right here. Dive. Go foul. I'm one. Okay. We're fine. We probably can rim run. Let's just get by him. Good, Iverson. Let's go. Go, go down a couple of times and the three-point shot's going to open up. Let's play inside out. Which is a very, very rare thing to do in NBA 2K20, especially for me. I'll always play outside in. Shoot threes until they start to double, and then the inside opens up. But, you know what? Sometimes going deep hash is option number one, and then kicking is a smart decision. Uh, that's their ball. Yeah, not much we can do right there. Westbrook's not going to rebound Robin. We have a step. We have a step. Just go by him. Go by him. Don't let him get bumpy. What type of graphics do I have set if Dennis Robbins' hair looks like that? I must have read my graphics on a really low setting right now. From deep. Oh, we sold. Pinch in. Good steal. I think he passed the wrong player. Iverson for three. Green on the move. Big shot right there. Let's go. Okay. A stop and a score, and it's probably game over here. Good steal there by Rose. To a wide open Derek Rose. Three, green. That's a big one. That is a big shot right there. So you now got a six-point lead, but only four points needed to win. And we can also, which means we can take twos. Like, no matter what we do, it's two scores, so we just have to look for shots. Biggest green window in the game. That's not a good shot to give up. 
That release for all of them quick try is still super slow. Okay, let's just burn him. Dunk that, dunk that, dunk that. No, good defense, Lonzo. And we have probably let him tie here. Fine, we get a stop. We're good. We do need a stop. Just play the lanes, play the lanes. Send the double and get back. Send the double and get back. He's going to pass. We're there. Good, unlucky. We read him perfectly. We just tipped the ball out of bounds rather than into a section where I could, into a section of court where I could run and get it. He's gonna pass. Not I did not think he was gonna pass it there. Not much we can do. We're too small. And we were there. We managed to shoot it very early, but obviously he made it still. Okay, this is a big one here. Do we get space? Not enough space. Someone's gotta be open. It's Westbrook for three. Green light, that should be game. We've got two chances, no matter what, to score. Unless, actually no, if they hit a three here, we only have one chance. Okay, so we've got two chances. We've got this one here, and if we don't score here, we've got another chance afterwards. Okay, we got him, we got him wide open, leaner, no! We got the space, but we triggered the leaner. I must have held on to the R2 button there. And just like that, this is tied. Okay, whose hands do I want the ball in? Probably Rose's hands to be... Oh, no, Iverson's hands. Iverson's hands. Set him the screen. Rose. Wide open. Oh, we sold. But we got blessed. Good shot there, Iverson. Did a good job getting free, but we, uh, we missed time to jumper. So anyway, that is the video. This team was... Well, it's not very good. We got lucky we came up against a bad team. But, um... Yeah, this is the fastest team. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I keep down first. I see you are evil when I come back. Not today, say. This how God works. Play my position with his giving with no concerns. Set it out. Top of the morning, I'm gonna set it out. You living boring, I'm gonna set it out.